I called uh, Pini Hinare, Nanahi. <coughs> Reo Māori e te māngai o te whare. A tupu Māori ora ki te whai au, ki te au marama tihe wā Māori ora. Tā te mea ko tēnei te wā tuatahi ka kōrero a hau ki rotu i tēnei whare mai te matenga o tōku pāpā. E hia hia ana hau ki te poroporo aki atu ki aia, me te mihi anō ki tēnei whare i whakatu a rā mai i tēnei ngoi kore ki roto i ngā wiki kua pahure a kēnei. Nō reira e taku noho anga titiro ki te awatea, taku taumata tiro ake ki te ao mārama. E tangi ana tēnei ki a koe e pāpa, me ngā tapu ai kua horahia mai ki runga i te nukuroa. E ki a nei te kōrero o tō pāpa, a krani pāpa, e kore e mō nehu nehu i te pū mahara, te momo rangatira i whakawhiti i te nukuroa o te moana nui a kiwa. Kā ti ake ko a rātau tapu ai ki runga i te mata o te whenua, he taonga, he tapu, he taonga. He tapu, kā ti te tangi ki a pāpa, ka tā piri atu ko ngā hunga wairua o tēnā o tēnā e huitahi nei, ko tahi tonu te kōrero mō rātau, haere mai, haere. I tēnei taima ka tahuri atu a hau ki te hunga ora, koutou e oku hoa mahi, koutou i tukuna mai o koutou roimata, o koutou hupe ki runga i a pāpa nā tēnei i tōna matenga, i tōna takotoranga ki runga i te marae o Otiria, ki runga anō hoki i te marae o Mōta Tau, ki roto i te wiki kua pahure a kēnei. Koutou katoa, mai i tēnei taha o te whare, ki tērā taha o te whare. E mihi atu ana hau ki a koutou, mō tō koutou rau aroha, ki tēnei tō koutou hoa mahi. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. E te māngai o te whare, ka tahuri atu a hau ki tēnei take nunui rawātu. E mea nei ko tēnei take e kikini nei i te whatu manawa o tēnei e kōrero ana. Mr. Speaker, at this time, I want to turn to this particular amendment bill, a bill that is close to my heart. And I want to start by... Uh, reading just a very brief passage uh, in a letter from Sir Apirana Ngata to Sir Peter Buck, who talked about and was of course instrumental in the establishment uh, of the Waitangi uh, National Trust Board and of course its centenary celebration in 1940. And he says here, you have already had the news of the death of Taite and Tau. In that respect, he's referring to my great-grandfather, not my cousin. To mention the politicians first, their ideas will be carried on by many younger men, whatever be their political allegiance. I found the North at the Waitangi Centennial celebrations very sound and intent on carrying out the policies To gave his life for. I wanted to read that, uh, Mr. Speaker, as a start. Um, first, around the historical landscape, of course, of, of this particular taonga known as Waitangi. We know, of course, as mentioned, it was the signing place. We know of the House of Busby. We also know, too, of the great gift of the Bledisloe family to this nation. What isn't mentioned is that the centenary celebrations, the opening of Te Whare Runanga, a carved meeting house which stands alongside the Busby House, where on the inside of that house there is a small but very poignant saying. And that saying goes, Kuauano te tahi ireira. I too was there then. And what that refers to is the failure at the time of recognising the Māori input in the conversation around the Treaty of Waitangi. The Whare Runanga went a long way to, um, to give Māori voice on the grounds, uh, on the Waitangi national grounds, and it's an important part of the history. It's also important to remember that at that time in 1940, was also the place where Apirana Ngata and indeed the nation sent off the 28th Māori Battalion to World War II. Why I cover this historical landscape, Mr Speaker, is just to paint a picture of just how important this place is to the country. 
My fear in painting that historical hands, uh, landscape, Mr. Speaker, is that in an attempt to create a more business style or a more business um, model uh, in the running of the Waitangi National Grounds, I fear that this shift detracts from the significance, the historical significance of the Waitangi uh, land. Now, I want to, before I continue, say that we do support this, and I do want to commend uh, the Minister uh, on her um, uh, job, at, you know, on her desire to review uh, this piece of legislation, because it is outdated. I mean, one of those examples is, of course, as mentioned in the bill, is the travel reimbursement, where once it was only reimbursed those who came by railway. This one is a very good positive step to make sure that those people, such as my father, who actually spent most of his time in Wellington, didn't have to catch the train to Waitangi. So it's important that these types of developments in the bill's history um, carry us on uh, into the future. We also welcome, and I support um, the Kōrero in the House, we welcome the broader review of the Waitangi National Trust. We're encouraged by a lot of their functions at the moment, spreading the word and the history of our country to our young people. Because if there's one thing that my father was passionate about, Mr. Speaker, it was young people. As much as he was a storehouse of knowledge um, for Māori, and in particular for the people of Te Tai Tokero, uh, he always had one eye on the future. And it's important uh, that we share the story of our nation with as many of our young people, be they Māori or non-Māori, as possible. I want to get back to the membership uh, now, Mr. Speaker. Of the 83 years of the trust, I want to point out that 65 years of that, uh, my family have been involved. The first member you'll see on the history provided by uh, parliamentary services, you'll see Tau Henare, my great-grandfather, was on the board. Upon his untimely death in 1940, uh, my grandfather, Sir James Henare, took over on the board, and as far as I know, is still the long, what was still the longest, has served the longest time on the Waitangi National Trust Board of 49 years before his untimely death in 1989. And to more recent times, of course, my father has been mentioned from 2007 to 2015 upon his untimely death. I had a bit of a chuckle to myself when I consider my whanaunga, the member Pita Paraune, who serves currently on the trust. It was mentioned to me at my father's funeral how perhaps the trust is the departure lounge. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a word of caution in there for those who wish to take up a role on the Waitangi National Trust. So, kia tūpato e te papa. Be careful. Hey, but the reason I, I, I draw out my family whakapapa with the trust, I also want to mention Sir, tu, Sir Tumu Teheuhu, who's involved. And it harks on, uh, it, sorry, it, it uh, joins on to what uh, my esteemed colleague, the Honourable Nanaya Mahuta, was talking about, about the mana of the positions. And it's the mana of those positions that carry the history of this country. Sir Tumu Tehuhu's Tupuna Iwiko Tehuhu at the time of the Declaration of Independence in 1835, and of course the White, uh, sorry, the signing of the Treaty of Waitangi in 1840 was resident in the Bay of Islands at the time. So it's only fitting that Sir, Tehumu, uh, Sir Tumu Tehuhu continues his role on the Waitangi National Trust. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I know that the time is. It's amazing how fast 10 minutes disappears on you. So I don't, I don't want to labour too much more about the particular bill, other than to say that we support it. And I want to finish on a couple of notes for the future. We know that there is a uh, case for developing the Waitangi National Trust and its capacity. And one of, the, one of the dreams of my father, and indeed the people of Te Tai Tokero, was that the actual document of Te Tiriti o Waitangi, that is currently held in the National Archives here in Wellington, be returned to the sacred lands in which they reside. We know that the Trust is looking at building their capacity to, to hold uh, such a precious taonga because we know that it's precious and it's important that it's looked after appropriately. Um, it is our dream to see that return to the land of Waitangi. We also have another dream in the North that other sites of significance gain just as much mana and conversation in this House. 170 years coming up in January 
is the commemoration of the Battle of Rua Peka Peka, the final battle in Te Tai Tokero. So it's one of four significant battles in the north, as well as uh, the signing of the Treaty of Waitangi. And if we are serious about our, uh, about our history and acknowledging the birthplace of this nation at Waitangi, it's important that we do it warts and all. Nō reire te mana whakawā, kā tiki a tātou, tēnā koutou katoa. I call the Honourable Judith Collins. Uh, Mr Speaker, it's, um, it is 